Welcome friends, let's know about a famous movie, which is based on the life of a painter, who is getting old but still have unfulfilled desires left. The name of the film is Surviving Picasso, so without wasting time, let's begin. The movie starts with an old man named Picasso. He is a famous artist and everybody know him. He shows his masterpieces to some military officers and observe their expressions. Next we see him inside a restaurant, where he tries to impress everyone with his talent. He also talk with young girls who are painters themselves. He asks them to visit his apartment, so that they can see some artwork. Next morning the sun is shining and we see Knotts' army in its routine. When the two girls goes to visit Picasso, as they go inside, they notice Picasso and other members are rehearsing a bold play. Picasso greets both of them and take them inside his room to show his paintings. He finds out one girl is going back to her country soon, and the other will be left out alone. He invites her to see his paintings again and spend some time with him. The beautiful girl is Francois, who is very impressed with Picasso, but she held herself back for several weeks. As she knew, whoever came close to Picasso never remained the same. But she visits him one fine morning, which makes him extremely happy. As she is all wet in rain, Picasso tries to dry her with towel. After showing her some artwork, he came close to her, and she do not resist at all. In fact, she looks happy which surprises Picasso. After the independence of Paris, Picasso became a celebrity, as he was already famous and behaved so well in the country. Here Francois wants to study painting full-time, but his strict father wants her to study law. Picasso gave her the courage to talk to her father, and as she tells him about her decision, he became angry. He come to her room and start beating her badly, but she is determined to paint. Next morning she visits Picasso again. He is very happy that she came again. He takes her to the upper secret room and asks her if she want to live here. She agrees instantly. Then he tries to clean the bed for her. Meanwhile she removes her dress and stand there for him to notice. Next morning we see them talking together. The girl in the city knows how many women Picasso have dated before but no one could stay with him. Picasso tells her now there is only you and no one else. Here we are introduced with a girl who is Picasso's wife. She has a daughter as well but does not know about Picasso's affairs. He visits them every week but that's it. Then we see another woman whose life is destroyed by Picasso. She constantly wait for Picasso, but he never turns up. She is living in a fear that he will leave her. Next Picasso takes Francois to his farmhouse which is out of the city. He shows her the place and decides to live there for a while. But slowly she understands Picasso and starts disliking him. One night as he is asleep, she tries to run away with her luggage. She carefully make it to the road but Picasso comes in his car with a man and takes her back to the house forcefully. He makes up her mind and take her to church. He asks her to take oath that she will love him forever. She becomes happy again. Next we see Francois working with Picasso. She is attending all the customers and Picasso is in bed. Everyone is waiting for his arts but he does not want to work for a while. Francois tells him to try and get up as it may make him feel better. He agrees with her and comes out to greet his customers. He talks to them one by one and gets best deals. At night he gives her good lessons on painting and she is impressed by his knowledge. Time goes on and she gives birth to Picasso's baby. Picasso now lives with her but only goes to meet his first wife and daughter on Sunday. Her wife lives in illusion that she is most loved by him among his girls. He takes Francois and his first wife out for holidays where they meet each other. His wife tells Francois that Picasso loves her the most and never think of taking her place. As Francois roams around with him, she finds out more and more women left by Picasso after marriage, but all of them wanted to be his favorite wife. Picasso have lot of money and he gives money to all his wives and tells them he has no complaints against any of them. That way he is saved from the anger the girls rather fight with each other. Francois is happy with Picasso even after meeting with his many wives, but he does not pay her anything for her future. She is afraid that she will be left behind like his other wives too. So she started painting herself and starts to earn money as she is pregnant second time. Picasso goes to Poland for three weeks as he joined the Communist Party. He told his assistant to send mails to Francois every day, but she finds out that the letters are not from Picasso. 
As he comes back home she slaps him for the fake males. But Picasso is very good at coaxing women. He instantly changes their mood and makes them happy, especially Francois. She is somewhat happy with Picasso and living her life with him. Next Picasso along with Francois goes to meet Malicious, another famous painter who is a good friend of Picasso. He shows him the paintings and asks Picasso if he can make a portrait of Francois. Picasso says you can do it when you want, she will pose for you. Malicious gives Picasso an ugly statue as a present and they laugh together. Picasso starts a new business of making pottery with artwork. He enjoys the work as he is working with a new young girl. But Francois is getting unsettled now, as she is not able to understand what will happen to her future. As he is enjoying with new girls outside the house, as he comes late at night, he finds her waiting for him outside, and they have argument together. As Picasso never told her that he will not sleep with anyone, he is getting in love with the new girl Jacqueline, spending more and more time with her. His artwork also started showing a face of new women, which made Francois to suspect him. Next morning Picasso lies to Francois that he is going to Paris for work, and they cannot be together as the air of Paris is polluted. In fact he is going with Jacqueline to live in Paris. After he leaves Francois receives a call that her grandmother had a stroke and she is paralyzed. She cannot go against his order but she have to go to Paris. As she arrives in Paris, her dad tells her that grandma passed away last night. Now her father is alone with no one else in his house. Francois calls her old friend so that she can meet Picasso and tell him about the matter. As she goes to meet him, she finds him flirting with his new girlfriend Jacqueline. She waits outside and met him while he is alone. She tells him about her grandmother death. Then she tells him she will live in Paris with her children alone, as she knows about his new affair. He says you can stay as you wish. Next morning he tells her you cannot live without me, as your art will not sell for a single pie without me, and the day you leave, all your contracts will be cancelled. But she is adamant. As she packs her bags Picasso cries first time in his life to hold her back. But she tells him it's her experiment, she will stay in Paris for some time. After some time she comes back at his house to meet him, and finds Jacqueline living with him. Francois tells her the same things she had been told by others, but Jacqueline also brushes it aside. Soon she finds out Picasso is flirting with Francois again. Francois is not ready to move in again so he asks for friendship at least. Francois then gives him a tribute for doing what he did for her all these years. She gets into bullfight and entertains him. And the movie ends here. I hope you enjoyed the film. See you soon with another explanation. Take care.